you know, young up and coming member that the BRDC really need to get involved in, in quite a big way. Here we go again into Cops. This time not so close. He's not trying to uh, twitch Portiero here. But the run down through Maggots and Beckett's will be the interesting one. Portiero's got a good turn of speed though, hasn't he? 133 1 on the last lap. Only he, Hamilton, and Piccioni uh, at that closer, kind of pace. Much closer this lap in, in through Beckett's. So down the hangar straight, he should get a great toe now. Chapel curve is key. Now just watch on board as you get closer and closer. Just hear the reds rising, not quite on the limiter. Oh, but Portiero just... He's so much quicker mid-corner. He carries much more speed yeah. in the middle of the corner than Portero is able to manage. Portero just not confident in the car in stone. You could see why. I mean, it was moving at both ends on him, so... And again, there you can see coming through club. Club's a funny corner, isn't it? It's so long and so often you see drivers adjust, adjust, adjust because they don't have the line exiting the veil. Exactly, it's so crucial to get. I mean, there's a really fine line between the perfect exact on line and, and being a pity. Oh, a bridge for the lead! Oh. Around the outside of Priory, cuts back inside of Brooklyn. He's got to have a lunge because Piccioni's yeah. there. He is inside. Oh, and that was close as well. Good defence by Pochero because he managed to shut the door on Piccioni, but there it is <laughs> in front of the BRDC members. Oh, shall we vote him in? Go on then, all right. So Hamilton takes the lead. And... Uh, Great move, and that, that, I mean, that built up really from Stowe. You know, he had he had Portero on the back foot and then looking in the mirrors and offline all the way from.